That is a creepy just thing kind of praying. It looks like there's several of them just kind of hanging out. Okay. It's two again. I'm forgetting which button is block. Okay. The new armor is making a massive difference. I should have had this all along. And I think I'm going to, uh... I think we're going to try and make a fanged axe as well. We should be able to get enough money out of out of this run. It won't be that big of a deal. I can even, like, use bandages and stuff. There sure have been some pretty damn good games coming from indie small teams. Well, so, I've actually... Uh, that's actually a huge thing about the games industry. It tends to get really top-heavy, which I think is actually a bit of a mistake. Um... Because I find the larger your team is, you can make some pretty good stuff. And there are absolutely reasons why you want to have, like, really big AAA teams uh, working on games. But I find in a lot of cases, you really don't actually need that, like, huge of a team. Uh, I mean, take Octopath Traveler. It's one of the better JRPGs to have come out in recent memory. And that was made by a much smaller team. Oh, gather oil. It was made by a much smaller team than, you know, Square Enix usually puts onto projects. And yet, it works It works great. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, held my interest a lot better than, you know, uh, what's a good example? It held my interest a lot better than, say, Final Fantasy XV did. Easy example. And I will, I will admit, uh, you know, wholesale, there are many, many exceptions that are actually very much worth. Nope, can't mind that one. Uh, let's see. Last of Us, for example. Yeah, okay, you do need a much larger team to work on that one. But, like, I feel like the bigger your team is, the kind of more you fall victim to a lot of bloat and, like... I'm going to say corporate interests. Like, that's like how you kind of get caught every year. Like, yeah, it's a decent game, but it's still just the same game forever. Okay, uh, let's see. So I'm going to screw up again. Move to pocket. Move to pocket. Okay, there we go. My inventory is so so full uh, that you know no hope of carrying more than this. I'll have to see if I can get an even bigger backpack. Hopefully, there's some insane magical stuff later on in this game. Like, bags of holding and stuff? Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, so for, like, really large studios, they get kind of scared. They're not super adventurous. And admittedly, this is actually a bit of a, uh, this is a bit of a, a setback as well, because a lot of indie studios are in, like, super danger mode and more or less, like, make it or break it. And so if the, the game doesn't do well, they're screwed and the studio shuts down. And even if they do well, the studio might still shut down anyway. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see. But I think personally, like, I love indie games, but they always kind of spook me a little bit because there's always that chance of the early access crash. I think I forever will be the biggest fan of... of uh, there are portable fridges. Neat. I think I will always be the biggest fan of AA studios. You know, small studios that can put out pretty big things. Like, at this point, 
easy example would be Subnautica. That is not an indie game anymore. And honestly, they were always like a relatively large-ish studio, and I think they've grown considerably over the years. But... Oh, if you need salt, you can boil it from seawater. That will save me a lot of money. Actually. But Subnautica is an am amazing game for what it was, and, you know, really stands out. You know, even years later. Clay. Clay makes some fantastic games, and it's such a huge, like, diversity, too. And, like, this game, it's got faults, and I really hope they're committed to, you know, working on this more than just, uh... You know, just putting out in the wild. Like, this is the kind of game that could be perfect, with, like, one or two balance patches and a co and mild combat overhaul. It feels better now that I'm using a weapon that I like, but it still feels clunkier than... More clunky than fun. But it's, like, it's just fun enough that it's not a big deal. But it's, it's clunky enough that I know I'm going to be in trouble otherwise. However, uh, I know that if I bring Shell along with me, uh, you know, after we're back... I mean, hell, we might even do some split-screen, though. I don't think I'd want to. Uh, but if I bring Shell along with me and the two of us can work together, I bet we could actually wreck some people. Oh, Erevener has stuff. What is this? Removes most negative effects, but not the big ones that I'm really looking for here. We also got another mushroom shield. Makes for a surprisingly resilient shield. Interesting point. Trader garb, straw hat, master trader boots, pouch bonus. Oh, but they're extremely expensive. Worth every penny, but extremely expensive. Because, yeah, stamina cost reduction and movement speed up. And decent resistances. So what is mana stone used for? Many alchemical recipes. Got it. So would obsidian be double A? It would be on the triple A end of things. Uh, upper double A, maybe. Let's see. Right. I wanted to browse the shop. Bang axe. I don't know what that squeaky noise is. It's kind of annoying. Two player does increase the difficulty, but not too much. I'm assuming it just makes the enemies a little bit uh, tougher and maybe do a little bit more damage. That I could work with. The main problem is having two players means I wouldn't get surrounded as much. What about digital extremes? I'd say they're double A. Triple A is like Ubisoft and Nintendo. Maybe. Like, the problem is the, the A classification. Oh, I have a shiv dagger. Actually, it does a decent chunk of damage. Okay, right. Current shield, 12. Durability... Okay, my, my current shield is better. So I can sell that. Sell the blood mushroom. How's my lantern doing? Out of curiosity. Eh, it's doing alright. So we can put away the fat for now. Put away this. I'm gonna put away one of the water skins, some of the cloth, star mushrooms. Common mushrooms. We're probably going to want to just sell a bunch of these things. Let's see, Nintendo's a weird hybrid of double and triple A. No, Nintendo is triple A all the way, but they do employ a number of, uh... God damn. Why do I keep doing that? I just press up. If I want to interact with something, if I want to open up my inventory, I just press up, and it, does, it doesn't work. Doesn't make sense, either. Oh, right, we should dump off my money. But no, Nintendo does have some some indie studios under it, but it is absolutely not double A. Honestly, I would say Nintendo's actually probably the biggest. Out of all of the studios. 
well, okay, Microsoft is pretty big. Sony, I don't know. I'd have to look at how many first-party studios Sony actually has under its wing. Because Sony has, like, a bunch of sort of first-party studios that it's just acquired. Whereas, like, Nintendo has a bunch of first-party studios that have just been Nintendo sub-studios forever. Uh, we should probably talk to her while we're here. What time is it over here? It's 11. Oh, she's just not here. Oh, there she is. There you are. Urgent news came in. I must be off immediately. I don't know when I'll be able to return. Why? What happened? There's trouble in Berg. An official council meeting has been called. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in Enmerkar region. Home city of all the tribes. Birthplace of our Blue Chamber Collective. If you're able, I'd like to meet, like you to meet me there. I do not want to spring this on you, but I have an offer. If you pledge yourself to work with me... I will pay off the rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. Your name would be cleared and your burden lifted forever. My blood price is still worth thousands of silvers. Where is this coming from? It's complicated. With Lyle abandoning the family, I need someone I can rely on. Someone I think of as close to family. I want to make sure you never have to face a mob like that again. You remember what the Blue Chamber Collective stands for. Only by sharing our burdens as family can we hope to survive in Arai. We're all bound together, no matter our origins or chosen path. The individual pales in importance to the family of the, and to the tribe. We all give up little of what we want, making sure that everyone has what they need to survive. It's your choice. Old dude, I won't force you, but my offer is open to you. Work with me, and I'll adopt you into the Aberdeen family and clear your blood price in, uh, permanently. Do I have a choice? I can't very well drag you along now, can I? You're an adult. Your life is in your hands. All I can hope to do is guide and shape you into someone who acts like the Blue Chamber's need, uh, acts with the Blue Chamber's needs in mind. If you want to make the journey to another settled region of Rai, you'll need to prepare travel rations. If you try to travel between regions without enough rations, you'll starve before you arrive at your destination. Here, have some travel rations to spare. If you need more, the stores of Sierra Zoe sell some, or you can craft your own with some salt and most types of food. I hope to see you in Berg, old dude. If you wish to commit to the protection of the Blue Chamber Collective, meet me there. Take the old road southeast of uh, Shersenese. So, at this point, we have three factions. Two of which are easy to get, get to, and the last one sucks balls. Probably. Because uh, we've got the Blue Chamber, we've got the Holy Order, and then supposedly, probably that uh, where Izan went to is the last one. I'm assuming. Oh, I'm really glad I don't have to feed myself when sleeping in my own house. That's nice. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to have that benefit anywhere else. Which sucks a bit. I wonder if there's any cool utility magic in this game. I'm not super interested in magic for the sake of magic. Uh, for, like, combat. But magic for the sake of, like, warp home. Run faster. Carry more. Like, that sort of thing, I could really get behind. I'm coming for you, bird. We did take a little bit of damage, but it's not so bad. Where's my backpack? There's my backpack. Yeah, the desert is no joke. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. I, I figured we'd be in trouble if I went that direction. I have taken some damage here, but I, I'm i kind of operating under the exp expectation that I'm going to get slugged here and there. Ugh. See, no fang axe. I forgot to upgrade it. I'll get it after the troglodyte thing. I... But truly, I am I am overextending how long I should be playing here. My my main goal is I want to finish off the tro troglodyte, uh, the troglodyte cave, and then just never look at it again. I mean, it pays well, so there's that. Let's see. I probably should get rid of some of these travel rations. Oh yeah, I've got eight pounds of them. 
And magic is hard and expensive. Yeah, I figured as much, which is why I wasn't pl really planning on using it for mat uh, for like combat. But say if I could use magic to run a little bit faster, like that sort of thing would be really cool. Okay. So the only section I haven't been to yet is hugging the left side. Pretty sure. Should let my stamina come back. I hope there are a lot more passive skills than the ones I've run into. Cuz it's not bad currently, but like I hope I hope there's more utility. You know, slower equipment degradation, maybe a very slight health regen. Probably not that. That seems like it might be a bit powerful. It'd be handy. Okay, I'm here. This cave's bigger than I thought, I thought it was going to be. But, like... Morrowind is a great example of how to have a whole bunch of utility spells uh, here and there. And I really, I almost never did combat magic in any Elder Scrolls game, but I'd always go out of my way to learn some of the what the shit are you. It's a giant? Anything else in here? So I was actually done. It just had this giant sucker, which I have no idea how the hell they got that. There's nothing. Oh, there is. Okay, so we get some iron scraps from that. Probably not much more. Because, yeah, this brings us back up to the main chamber. We've got, like, a little bit of clean water, but not much of anything. I'm just double-checking if there's anything major I missed. Not really. There's a hidden gem with just uh, some stash near the beginning, but you have to pay two gems to get in, and it's not worth it. Yeah, I kind of figured as much, especially because I don't have said gems. So I'd have to, like, come back, and that just doesn't seem worth my time. Energy, money, funds, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Okay, there, there's more. We've got a spellcaster of sorts. Probably not of sorts. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I was wondering, it's like, it seems like there's going to be more. So this is a mana troglodyte. He got some goodies. Uh, let's see, this guy's staff seems to have exited the world, and I don't think I'm getting that. Shame, because it's worth six silver, and I mean, considering how much I have to penny pinch here. That's money that I could actually use, because what is it? 40 of those? I mean, 40 is kind of a ridiculous number. But 40 of those would, would net me uh, those speed boots. And I'm feeling speed boots. If I can get them. I don't see any ooky spookies in here, so I think we're pretty much done. We've got a lot of these like weird locked doors, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get through them. Frog chest has a plank shield. Bolt rag. A fungal cleanser. 
linen cloth, and thick oil. So yeah, not exactly the most amazing haul ever, but considering this whole game and how it's handled, I'm going to be doing this a lot. And I think at this point, yeah, we've absolutely hit a solid stopping point, so on and so forth. At this point, I'm actually going to say we're going to have to go through all of this all over again one more time, but much faster and with a lot less hyena death, because as soon as I get back from my trip, I'm going to start playing games with Shell again, and I think this is going to be one of them. I'm not entirely sure if she's going to be fully keen on stuff, but I think the two of us working together, especially if I can carry over a lot of my, like, equipment and money and whatnot, uh, that should make the game so much easier and so much more interesting, too. Because, yeah, most of these fights seem to be two people, and so if I can have a co-op partner with me to just plow through content, that would probably solve some problems. And it could be one of those that I might also do a little bit of, you know, solo play. Uh, you know, do, do a little bit of solo play with, uh, with this character just to grab some extra funds and maybe bring some fans along or something like that. I don't know. But overall, I've had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, Aina death is best death. Apparently. God damn it. I already have an infection. Can you drop the backpack? Uh, drop the backpack? Drop the backpack. Drop the backpack. Okay, I can't drop my backpack for some reason. Okay. Well, this gets risky. Because I pretty much hate fighting hyenas. Damn it. That bandage takes a while. But yeah, I was kind of hoping I could get that bandage off and then heal slowly. Well, I i mean, no matter what, this is kind of worth it, as stupid as it sounds. Because every time you die, you just come back to this cave. And it's always got a smidge of money in it. But yeah, you can get equipment to share it with Shell, make it easier to start. Yeah. And seriously, fighting two hyenas is, is kind of bullshit. Having 2v2 versus hyenas, less bullshit. Hello, hyena. It amuses me that you're still here. But yeah, I, I want to say this game really was balanced for two people. And yeah, having an extra person is probably going to make it a bit harder. But every encounter I think I've ever been in has been... A, a two person like a two enemy ordeal with I guess the exception of those those shrimps now that I'm thinking about it I like how I've been dropping my backpack left and right this entire series yet the one time I needed to drop it I, I wouldn't not that big of a deal but a problem anyway uh but yeah be, being able to kind of Are they gonna peel off and fight each other? No. Crappy part is I'm out of stamina now. I should be able to make it. Open co-op, you get four hyenas. That would suck! I would not appreciate that. But yeah, let's go back. Let's make that Fang Dax before I forget it exists over the next week. And then call it close enough. They're gonna be there when I come back, too. 
They are relentless. And I kind of hate them. There we go. We are safe, though. And that's all that matters. But yeah, I will be able to share equipment with Shelly. Yep. Yeah, I'll probably give her the shield shroom and, and the iron sword, and the two of us will just kind of sword and board through. And I think she'll enjoy it. I, I think the lore will be interesting to her and a bunch of other things. I just hope she doesn't mind it being kind of frustrating. Oh, right. We gotta buy another one of those Healy teas. Well, that's okay. I already had an infection anyway. Okay, so let's sell the troglodyte staff. The fishing harpoon. I'm gonna sell the bolt rag. Fungal cleanser. Beetles. I mean, I'm pretty much just gonna sell everything. Maybe not the giant heart. Things that are harder to come by, I'm not gonna sell. Oh, right. Let's see. Cures indigestion. Cures infections. So, restored bitter spicy tea. I wonder if we can learn the recipe for that. Not here. Maybe at the other guy. Because I think the food guy had bitter, bitter tea. Because, yeah, if I can make that myself occasionally, that might help. Or it'll be a complete waste of money. We'll find out. Okay, bye. Uh, wait. Bitter spicy tea. Okay, I need five more gold. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just sell three of these. Okay. That way, we know how to make it. Okay, now let's go home. Have a good nap, and enjoy PAX. I am not honestly not sure if I'm going to be sleeping tonight. Wonder, did you find your mead? Nope, not yet. I haven't actually gone looking. Uh, I, except for, I guess, going out for a movie night with Stumped. I actually pretty much haven't gone outside, period. Okay, so what do we need for the Fang Axe? So, Iron Axe, Predator Bones. Right. I actually have to unequip it. Easy enough. Bang axe it is. Let's see. Looks like that might have fixed it up bottom fully. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, what do I even have in my inventory? Okay, fang axe and everything else. Damn it! Okay. I'm just going to drop off everything. Probably get some more bandages at some point. Later. Okay. And it looks like we are good. Oh, put away the lantern. Luckily, it doesn't, like, burn too much. It's good. I hope there's some level of house customization. Because that'd also be nice. I'm also kind of interested in seeing if there's any, like, real time commitments on, on things. Like, if you take too long, like, by day 30, that's when the demons invade, and then you lose, and it's like, ah. Oh, right. I never actually... I never actually drank my tea. There we go. Problem solved. That backpack wants to be free. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna start split screen. I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, I don't think we're going to do split screen. We could. I, You guys will have to tell me uh, if you guys are fine with split screen. Because we could conceivably play more of this on the laptop. But I don't know if it would look great. So, yeah, probably not. I think I'd rather wait for us to get back. Because it'd be fun. I, maybe we'll do split screen to catch up to where I am. And we'll do that as a stream. Because that wouldn't be a terrible idea.
And that way we can come back and actually resume properly. Because I don't know if I'd record the beginning bits with Shell. But I could definitely record uh, everything after. We'll see. 